So I just wanted to share a parenting thing. Um, we have a two-year-old, but we also have a 22 and an 18-year-old. And, um, you know, we're in our, I mean, my husband's going to be 50 in March and I'm 46. I'll be 47 this year. So, you know, we've, we've already had, a, you know, 22 years of raising kids. So one of the things when we had our little guy, Sebastian, <laughs> are you climbing me, huh? is um, we knew that we would have more patience this go around instead of being in our 20s and, and everything and being first time parents and trying to figure stuff out. But one of the things that we definitely noticed um, with this one is he likes to help. And our other two kids loved to help us too. They like to help with you know, making food and cleaning up and folding laundry. And, and um, we did not let them help as much as we should have. One of the regrets that we have is that we, we really should have let them help us more, no matter how frustrating it was, no matter how much they unfolded all the laundry that I would just fold, or no matter how much they would, you know, mess up or misplace whatever Sean was working on. This is, he's helping me make the video. Um, anyway, so just a big win this morning is, is we always do the cleanup song. We did it with the other two, but um, uh, sometimes it was just easier to do things ourselves. And we always had them clean up their own stuff. But um, oh no, Dada! Yeah, there's Dada. But uh, this morning he was playing with these blocks, and there's itty bitty little blocks, on, and they were all over this floor here. And so I told him, okay, clean up now. And I started singing this song while I was making breakfast and he was cleaning up while singing the song. And then with the lid on, now granted it was not screwed on properly if he would have held it by the lid. I mean, shit would have fallen everywhere again. But he brought it to me so, so proud with the lid on top. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly? <laughs> it did have been silly with you. Um, he brought it to me, he was so, like the look of pride on his face that he put the lid on himself and even though I've been practicing trying to show him how to, to screw on versus screwing off, he likes to screw off everything. He doesn't understand that there's a screw on and screw off. He only can screw one direction. So far it's in the off position. But I just want to, if you have kids and, you know, um, let them help. Even if it's annoying, even if they're screwing it up more that's the best way for them to learn. And, you know, I should have definitely let our kids help more when I cooked. They loved helping cooking, but it was one of those things that I enjoyed. It was my time alone. It was my time of not doing everything for everyone in a way while, so cooking was meditative for me. And it's one thing that, I mean, I taught both kids how to cook, but I definitely could have let them be more of the process and baking and cooking things. And they loved it. So um, we are not making the same mistake. With this guy, he helps with a lot more, even if it's super annoying <laughs> and he makes it worse or takes like nine hours longer to get something done, he gets to help. Did you help? Did you put Did you put all the blockies away yourself? Put away. You did it? Did you do it all yourself? I do it all gone. Yeah? You did it all done? You I'm, put them all away? Oh yeah, there's a chair go. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day.